All right, so back to this. Um, again, just another video on the Komi Can't Communicate manga, right? Um, with the big thing being that this isn't a volume video, I haven't read the new volume, volume 25, or ne the next volume that I'm on, volume 25, yet tonight. I will still read that, and I will still make a video on that. But again, you know, this is something where I kind of wanted to make, and it's something to where volume 25, 24 ended off about 100 chapters from where the series is now so and it's something to where again i made an r one of these videos before when we were halfway through right um at chapter two whatever you know so it's something to where it's been in our 100 chapters since right and obviously it's something to where a lot has happened since then so again i kind of want to take a moment take a step back and make this kind of video, right, um, again, another one of these kinds of videos, at least, uh, going through, right, uh, up until now, and then obviously for what, I guess, the rest of the series has to offer. So again, kind of taking it rather than a halfway video, this is going to be specifically, since we read the volume as well as the volume after, right, post-volume, and we kind of saw the, not fallout, but kind of the, I, I don't want to say repercussions, but sort of, again, what followed the whole confession thing, probably the biggest point of the series. Again, it, it's something where I wanted to make, rather than just a generic, you know, broad general halfway point, this one is more of a specific, again, post-confession, right? My thoughts and opinions, and what, again, what has happened up until now, what the series has moved forward, how I think it could have done better, Again, which to which a lot of this stuff I touched on the previous volumes, right? In my sort of thoughts and opinions and reviews on those. But again, this I'm making a completely separate video for to kind of, again, compartmentalize and then also just cement and finalize these. So that way, moving forward with whatever volume 25 review, it's just solely about that, right? Um, and again, you know, not really about kind of where the implication of the series more just, again, concentrate with that volume itself. So... Again, you know, wanted to do this and make this video right. Uh, so, again, you know, just... I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. I just thought of it literally, like, earlier today. But I do feel like this is one that makes sense. And it's one to where, again, you know... Moving forward, uh, once once I do finish uh, the series, or at least up until where it is now, I'll make a video similar to this then. But in the meantime, right, this is going to be kind of the next... Again, it's between the halfway, between up until where the series is, right, this is, again, gonna, but, again, with the focus being on the specific event that happened in the title, right, again, you know, debatably and probably, arguably, I don't even want to say, like, definitively the most important event in the series, right, so, again, or at least most impactful, right, so with that, we can get into it again with the whole love triangle in the confession thing, right, so, but again, this is really just focused on the confession, because the love triangle, I kind of brought up and talked about in the halfway point video, because by that point, it was definitively a thing, or something that was shaping up to be, with, again, kind of the seamless, or easier, like, transition into that, but again, this is going to be confession-specifically based focus, right, so there's that, so we'll kind of go over three different things, one, we'll go over the actual kind of confession, you know, what, how I think could have been better, and which is stuff I've talked about, right? Again, everything kind of leading into it, and then again onwards, right? Just kind of a, a lots of stuff I've already been talking about before, like I'd mentioned, but again, just all in this one thing. So with that, we can get into it. So as for the confession itself, right? Again, biggest complaint I have with it, and probably biggest complaint I have with the series as a whole, it really should have been Comey being the one to confess to him. I have no idea like again it's something to where the more i think about it the less i like understand why they didn't have her do it especially due to the nature of the series as a whole and again kind of her place within it i genuinely like if there's one thing i would change about the series and if there's one thing that like i would say would make more impact changing than anything else or like you know compared to any other like sort of critique or like issue I have with the series it's that it really should have been called me you know telling him how she feels I have no idea why they didn't do that like that is just it's kind of such a brain dead thing that I figured would happen that it, I didn't even notice when it didn't happen right and it kind of took me like I guess you know sort of thinking about it more being like wait a second yeah she didn't know it was and that's like yeah wait why didn't they have her again that was just I genuinely have no idea why they didn't um 
other than that, you know, other complaints I have regarding that is because then again, it's something to where also I think the other kind of besides the pacing being wonky, but that's more of a general broad thing again, and more of, I guess, the implication now that they're officially a thing that they can kind of let off the gas, you know, ease off the pedal, right? You know, and again, not focus or draw out some of these other interactions given that you know, there's no, again, that they are officially, again, but that's, like, more of something I'll talk about later on in this video moving forward. Again, because, but the other big complaint I have is that, again, you know, is mainly regarding Tadano, because not only the fact that kind of, granted, and again, because this is also the thing, right, the love triangle, it should have just never happened, you know, However, I do recognize that it did make for a good story and plot point and sort of build up and lead into the whole confession, right? And then becoming a thing. So I accept that. However, it should have been something to where even if Tadano wasn't willing to kind of accept Mampagi's feelings initially, right? Or even at least not willing to tell her that he liked Homie initially, by the point to where she pretty much confessed how she felt to him, it I he shouldn't have like flaked and shouldn't have it shouldn't have a uh, granted which, don't get me wrong this scene really showed and spoke volumes about Mampagi's character but really shouldn't have come down to her kind of needing to drive him to confess to Comey right it shouldn't have kind of again it, it shouldn't have come down to her needing to do that right. Like, it should have never been the case to where they would have potentially, like, gotten together, right? Like, which is where it was going, you know? Um, but again, she reckoned, she recognized that, but realized, like, again, like, even if they do, right, at the end of the day, where is his feelings really lie? And that's when she kind of pushed him to kind of, again, go confess to Comey. But what it really should have come down to, and again, the way this can tie into Comey's confession, right, is... It, again, it really should have been something to where, like, Man Poggy would have, like, confessed to Donald. He said, you know, he, and then, you know, she's, like, waiting for a response. And he's, like, you know, he, he really should have said something like, you know, like, Man Poggy, you're, like, a wonderful person, right? You know, and you deserve someone who's, you know, and you definitely deserve someone who you can be with and will take care of you. And I'm extremely sorry for, you know, leading you on by not telling you that I liked somebody else earlier, right? But again, you know, like at the end of the day, the person I'm feeling is for is Comey. That should have been how that conversation went, right? You know, and regardless of how you look at it, it's going to suck. But at the end of the day, like if she's willing to, you know, take the courage, you know, and, you know, what would you call it? Like have the courage and you know, to speak to him and tell him how she feels, right? He should have the courage to be able to, like, be transparent and honest with her and shoot her down and, again, not lead her on that way. So it should have literally been, like, again, verbatim, he can say, like, you know, you're a wonderful person. You deserve to have someone who will take care of you and, you know, to be with and take care of you. And I'm sorry for leading you on. I truly do, like, apologize but there is someone else I do like and have like feelings for. That's what he should have said. And then she could say something like, oh, if it's, it's call me, right? If it's call me, why don't you tell her how you, you feel? And then that's when he can say like, you know, would that really be right? Like, it's not that I don't want to get with her or whatever, right? Or that I don't want to tell her how I feel, but because that's when he can say he could have a, a bombshell line from him would have been like I know she is feelings and likes me in the same way I like her which is why I want her to be the one to tell me uh again you know as as just I want her to be the one to tell me so that again again I want her to be the one to tell me to have that confidence to do so right and not take that opportunity from her that could have Imagine that was how that conversation went down. Like verbatim what I just said, that could have been how that conversation went down. And all of a sudden, you know, it would have made like a lot more sense, you know, in terms of like, again, you know, I guess why Tadano wasn't exactly honest or transparent with her earlier, you know, again, why he hasn't told her how he felt, you know, again, uh, and then something to where then that could lead to Mampagi kind of going to like, they could have kind of like a makeup or not makeout, 
But, like, they could, like, make up there again, him really apologizing for kind of leading her on. But then Mampagi can go kind of convince Comey to tell to Donald how she feels. I mean, for fuck's sake, like, it, it was Valentine's Day, right? You know, when that scene happened. So that would have made perfect, like, sense or, you know, would have been more perfect there in terms of Comey going, like, to tell him, right? And then that being something where he responds, like, excited and, like, happily saying, like, yes, you know, I've waited for you to, like, tell me this. You know, I like you as well. Like, literally something like that. And it would have been perfect. Granted, now I'm not saying what we got was bad. I just think, again, for me, the biggest, like, again, for me, the biggest thing is I have no idea, like, why they didn't have her do it with the, due to the nature of the series as a whole. Because any other, you know, if it were just any normal, like, anime or series, right, then it wouldn't matter. But due, simply due to the nature of this series, right, I have no idea why they didn't have her do it. And again, it doesn't need to be this big thing or be this deep thing. I mean, I gave what would be decent dialogue and sequence of events for that. But just if even like if what I said didn't happen, just if it were solely her telling him versus vice versa, I, I feel like the series would be like so much better. Like it would be because, again, that's kind of what it's all been building to. And then they would really capitalize off of that with the whole series thing again, due to the nature of it. But again, it's just one of those questions where it's like, I have no idea why they didn't do it that way. It seems like such a brain dead, like, you know, just like a, it seems like such a brain dead, like common sense thing. I, again, I, I didn't even really notice until afterwards, but I, I don't know, you know. I felt like I've touched on that enough and got what I wanted to say out. But again, so that's that's kind of the big thing there. And then that also solves the whole question of why Tadano has kind of been leading Mampagi on because again it's something there to where it's like then he can like tell her that he's been waiting for like Comey to tell him right or he doesn't want to take that opportunity from her so but again you know and then that would raise his character but then also you know at the same time still give what would you call it um credit to Mampagi's character because then she could go to Comey and help her out right and really kind of guide support her in that um since now she knows, right? But also, again, the fact that she had the courage to be honest and transparent with him, again, and that being reciprocated to her. So so I feel like that's everything I wanted to talk about regarding the confession specifically. Now, as for other things that have happened, I mean, I, I do think, I think the whole, again, I, I do think Tadano not having a gift for White Day is pretty questionable. That's like, all right, dude, like, I mean, they were supposed to go on a date, but then he got kidnapped. I, I do think, I did like the interaction between him and her father, right? Um, but that could have been its own separate thing. Um, I, I do like that interaction, though, especially the part to where he's rambling on and he, and he has a flashback of, like, you know, Shosuke and Komi not being interested, but then Tadano's, like, actually listening. I think that's a good scene. Um, and then even for, like, the whole, like, Komi and Tadano, like, first date, like, I don't know why they didn't just have her, like, they did the whole shopping thing, but it would have made perfect sense for her to wear the white dress, right? Given, like, its symbolic nature and how he chose it out, and now this is the first time she's wearing it when they're, like, officially a thing. That, that would have made perfect sense, right? You know, but, again, but, yeah, you know, we didn't get that right, but, again, that's more of a minor, those two are more minor critiques versus how the whole, and then how the whole confession, you know, should have played out. The two things I do like, though, is I liked their first real conversation regarding each of them having sort of feelings of self-doubt and not being confident enough in themselves to think they're good enough about the other. So them really kind of going over that there, and again, they hold hands afterwards, which is cute, right? But then again, you know, and then we see their conversation before the start of their third and final year of high school, which I also do like that they kind of, again, had kind of a callback to their conversation at the end of the first year, right? obviously it didn't have as big of an impact or like effect or like there wasn't as much meaning in that conversation given that I mean don't get me wrong a lot happened but it was something to where it's like it didn't go from zero from nothing to kind of everything right as you know kind of that first year was again it was more obviously a lot happened I mean because even Najimi point out like oh you didn't make that many new friends but yeah it looks like all you knew is your boyfriend right um but again, the big thing there and what that ends up coming down to is it's like, 
you know, again, really kind of the big thing that that shows and really what we see is, again, it's in, again, the whole series and what I feel like is kind of lesson learned is how much of a difference or impact one person can make in your life. Again, just imagine if they weren't in the same class, like how just how much of loners they would each be. I hate to put it that way, but that's basically what the implication is. But again, right. So there there's that. Um, so, again, that ha- and that brings us to where we are in the volume currently. Right. Up into and funny enough, perfect timing for me to make this video before the start of that third year, I guess, within the storyline show chronology, chronologically and timeline wise. Right. At least within story. So. Again, but that's kind of everything involving, like, the confession, like, you know, and then kind of the aftermath, right? So, again, just biggest thing, though, out of those is, again, I had the two more minor things, but the major kind of thing is I have no idea why they didn't have Comey tell him how she felt. That seems like such a no-brainer that I have no idea why they didn't do that. I understand it's a typical thing, you know, especially probably in the East, for the guy to, you know, be the one to kind of front that. But due to the nature of this series, like, that should have been an exception. And, again, you know, obviously it's... Obviously one of the two is way more popular than the other. But, again, that's really not what this is all about at the end of the day. I just feel like it was a big missed opportunity. I laid out a scenario and sequence of events that would make sense that would bolster Comey's character, Tadano's character and Mompagi's character simultaneously, given that they're all three corners of the love triangle. But again, right? So there's that. And so, right? In again, I kind of brought the love triangle. I, I do want to, I'm not going to, because I mean, for the midway video, I kind of brought up everything in the series thus far up until that point in leading up, you know, to that halfway mark through the series, right? But again, you know, the one thing I didn't really touch on, I don't think, was the love triangle because I don't think it was something that was super established by that point. I think it was kind of obvious that was the direction it was going in. And I talked about that, again, seamless transition. But for me, the big thing, as for, again, I I did say I don't think it should have been allowed to happen. But again, for the sake of the story and plot and that progress and sort of, again, you know, building up into the whole confession, right? I do think it made sense. And I think it was done wonderfully, like, you know, for that sake and reason, right? And I think that's kind of the peak of the series. Again, like, I, I genuinely think, and it really just goes to show volumes and speak volumes about all of the characters involved, Tadano, Man, Pagi, and Komi, and how they're all just good, genuine people. It's not like, you know, your stereotypical, like, anime or show where they're just, like, dog shit people, right? And they do, like, the most over-the-top things. Like, despite this show starting off over the top, it really kind of, or the story, it kind of eases into it. And we really see, like, these three, just how much of being a decent human being, like, actually, like, impacts kind of these, like, things in action. So just, again, seeing how they all have each other's, like, best interests in, like, they're, again, you know, they're not trying to screw each other over. They really do want what's best for the group, right? And it's just, again, it just speaks volumes, right? And, again, the reason why I say this is, like, the peak of the show is, again, kind of transitioning into the future of the show and what it has in store, I will say again, and this is something I brought up earlier, is that the pacing since the confession has been kind of wonky. It's been expedited is the word I've been used. I think a lot of those interactions should have been much more drawn out. Like, I think there should have been a whole volume dedicated to basically the confession, right? And then an entire another volume dedicated to the aftermath. Again, one volume with the interaction between Manpagi Tadano, Manpagi Komi, and then Komi Tadano. Those three should have taken up a whole volume. And then the next one could be like, let's say, the aftermath, the immediate aftermath, and then the following aftermath, and then potentially their like first aid, right? Again, like that should have been, again, but meanwhile, it seems like, and again, this is what I'm kind of worried about and what seemingly the implication is. Seemingly the implication is because now they're officially a thing, they've made it to that confession point and we're moving on from there, right? Kind of the big thing and kind of, again, sort of what that tells me is the mentality behind it is because they've reached that point, they can, again, like I said earlier, ease off the gas, you know, step off the pedal, right? And kind of, you know, not put as much thought, you know, time or effort, or at least, you know, not draw out these kind of interactions, right? Because they're sort of, story or I guess plot implications won't be as meaningful, right, for, again, you know, the uh, 
where it's going, right? And again, that's something I kind of caution and I'm, I guess, kind of a bit cautious about and a bit, again, a bit worried about, I'd say, the biggest thing moving forward, right? Again, we're, it, now it's, we're getting into their third year, right? So again, they kind of have, and since they're committing to chronology and the timeline, they have pretty much another year to, yeah, pretty much another year to like make it, you know, I, I don't think they're going to go past granted that would be very very interesting if they did and i'm i'd be genuinely curious to see what they would do but at least from what makes sense to me i don't think they would necessarily go past high school like just because what would they even do right not everyone's going to college much less the same one right to be fair some characters have come in and dropped off as the series has progressed right but again you know kind of the big thing there is that's like yeah and what it kind of comes down to is um Again, right, just, you know, the big, the big thing there is that it's like, yeah, I mean, just, I'm, I'm, the, the pacing moving forward is, I feel like probably the biggest thing that needs to be corrected for, or accounted for, because again, if they really are just gonna like, say like, all right, fuck it, we had the confession there thing, we can just not worry about drawing out these interactions, then that's gonna lead to a decrease in quality over the series, and again, that's kind of concerning, because, Again, like, overall, this series has been pretty good. Like, I've enjoyed it thus far. Really, my big critique is I just have zero idea why they didn't have her do the confession as opposed to vice versa. But, again, if this pacing... And I'm willing to kind of let it slide. Again, give it a pass, you know, immediately following the, uh, you know, again, the confession, right? Just because, you know, they might have wanted to just push towards the end of that year and go through with whatever plans they have for the third year. But it is something to where if it's going to continue moving forward, then, again, the manga is going to be, like, noticeably, like, not as great as it was beforehand, especially during that, like, love triangle period. Like, that was, like, I'd say the peak of where it was, at least as of now. But, again, you know, and as for, like, specific story events, I'm still curious to see if there's going to be kind of a falling out between Komi and Tadano. That would be further on, like... It would be further on, like, when they're kind of... Because, obviously, what I, one thing I will say that I do like what they did and think that they did well is the fact that they're both, like, awkward as shit and, like, can barely speak to each other after, you know, their, um... After their, like, you know, again, their officially thing. Like, I think that makes perfect sense in that, like, you know, versus them all of a sudden, you know, becoming, like, these, like, lovebirds, right? Or things just going back to the same. I think them just, like, not really being able to speak or, like, being awkward as shit around each other makes perfect sense. But it'll be after they get over that phase or period, right? Um, sometime in the future, if they do have a falling out, right? I can see that being something where that's when Mampagi will kind of step up. Because, again, since the confession, she hasn't really done much, or at least held, like, now that the love triangle is no longer a thing. But that can be when her character kind of comes back in, and she can kind of be the one to mediate or mend their relationship there, right? kind of doing what she can as well as kind of that can be that can kind of in a sense give her closure regarding her own feelings for Tadano right because that's something to where she could have chosen to kind of take advantage there right but at the end of the day because she's a decent good human being right and again we've seen that based on her character thus far like it really could be something to where again she could be that kind of solution there so you know again with what that comes down to right I, I think the biggest thing with that is yeah, you know, we'll just have to see. That's really, again, I, I'm going to be honest, I genuinely thought the end game and end goal was going to be Komi and Tadano, right? I thought if it happens, it would be at the very end. I did, it wasn't until they brought up the whole Valentine's Day dual confession possibility that I'm like, oh shit, this might happen sooner. But again, now it kind of raises the question of, all right, what's the actual end game of the uh, series, right? I don't think it's going to go past high school years. If something, I think it'll end when they graduate or maybe some like end of summer like party where they kind of reflect and go over like everything that has happened, right? Similar to they did after the first year and then the second year, but it'll be a much more longer drawn out thing because that'll be the conclusion of the series. Like, and maybe it does like some time skip into the future. But, you know, again, I think at the end of the day, right, it would be something to where I think at least for this portion of the story, right, they would end it there. I don't see how they would go on and continue on. Maybe they do some time skip, but at that point it'd be a separate thing, right? 
I don't think they'd at least continue with the current, like, I guess, present or, like, where the story lies now with, again, beyond that end of that high school. But, again, we'll see. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Um, we have, what, 100 chapters left? However many more volumes left, um, I'm going to read them. And, again, we'll see, right? Uh, I guess it'll be curious to see where, like, the anime, you know, kind of if it ever continues, right, how far it goes, but again, you know, it's something that where, yeah, really, again, you know, just, it'll be interesting to see, and I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see what, now that they're officially thing, what they're going to do with this kind of third year, again, kind of what they're going to do with that now that they can't really build into that, now it's like a beyond type thing, but again, we'll see, we'll see, I've, I've gone over pretty much everything I want to in this field, there's really not much else to go over, so that's, Oh, end of here, and don't really have much else to say for that or with that one, right? So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.